Joining us now is Talamo, the overall winner of this year's Olaf. Olaf is the Ochumuise um, Live Arts Festival Dance Competition. Uh, he's a key member of the Rhythm in Motion Pantula Dance Group. Now, these guys have been lighting up Vintuk with their performances from Zoo Park to Katatura. Talamo is here this evening, and of course, we're going to congratulate him and also let him tell us about his journey and his future plans. Good evening and welcome. Hello. How are you this evening? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. First of all, a big congratulations on being proud the overall winner for All Love's 2024 uh, dance competition. How does that feel? You know, for me, I, I still can't believe. But then, you know, I've, I've done so much and I, I feel like this, is, this, this was the right moment for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so throughout the years, I've, I've practiced a lot and I think this was my year. In my time. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, tell us a bit about, you know, Rhythm in Motion, the dance group, and how you guys um, came together, and also why you chose Pantsula as your form of, you know, expression. So, before the group was named Rhythm in Motion, the group was named Achikama Jive. Mm -hmm. So, this group was a group of, of our, our elder brothers in the hood where, where we grew up. I grew up in Soweto, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so it was a group, it was meant for young guys like us because we come from a dysfunctional community, mm. you know, a place where people do drugs and all that types of stuff, so the group was, it was created for us as young guys to like, to have a better, to have a purpose, you know, right. to, yeah, and then just after that, uh, a lot of guys got into, I can say, crime life and this how a lot of them faded out. Mm -hmm. So the group, I took over the group and I renamed it to Maspara Pantola. And then after I renamed the group, things were going good. But then, you know, because of life's challenges, other guys also faded out. So mm. I decided to rename it again into Rhythm in Motion mm -hmm. because um, the younger ones I recruit now, I, 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 they have more, how can I say, like they have, they, 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 they have fire. Mm -hmm, you understand? Mm -hmm. So they are filled with energy. So yeah. I feel like that's the correct name for them and for the crew itself. How do you, when you say you recruit them, how do you identify like now this guy's got, you know, um, a, a good beat or good rhythm or whatever. He'd make a great dancer. How do you identify their talent? You see, like for me, I, I grew up watching Chinese movies. <laughs> Yeah, so Kung that's Fu yeah, Kung Fu movies. Mm. So that's how I that's how I see like um there's one with the name Edison, he like he can jump very high. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I just saw like no this one I can just show him this and this and that that's how <laughs> I, 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 I identify the yeah, guys. Yeah. And yeah. do you teach them the dance move you, yourself? So you're also the choreographer basically? I'm the choreographer of the group. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm the I'm the lead dancer of the group, so mm -hmm. I'm the one teaching them and showing them the way. Yeah. I'm paving the way for them. That's fantastic. Sure. As I mentioned earlier, you've obviously performed all over the city with Olaf at Zoo Park, um, you know, Post Street Mall. Um, with performing in these different locations, different locations, what was it like and, you know, how did you connect with the crowds that were there? You know, like for us, we are, we are used to the people in our community. So it was quite challenging for us to, to perform like in other different spaces. Yeah. But then it was also good for us to like engage with new people and, um, and also feel how other people feel, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like how they can, how they, it was good we engaged with them because yeah. for us we are just used to our people yeah, yeah yeah so it was quite challenging but it was fun at the same time yeah yeah how was you know being part of the festival and of course winning in the end impacted you as a dancer how do you see it you know um shaping namibia's creative scene the platform that olaf uh, provides you know shout out to olaf shout out to <laughs> olaf yeah because as creative artists or as dancers we don't we don't really get that recognition we don't we are not exposed that well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you know, for me, like as a full-time artist, as a creative, um, I feel like this was the perfect moment for me. It elevated me, it brought me like out of the, out of the, out of the darkness. So, into the spotlight. Yeah, yes, into the yes, spotlight. Yes. So a lot of people now will, will respect dancers. And you know, dancing is not easy. Yeah. Yeah, like people from the outside, they will just see dancers, oh, they're just dancing, but then they don't really know that the story behind our, mm -hmm. our lives. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Speaking of the story behind your lives, Pantula has such, you know, rich historical um, connotation to it. You know, it's, it's known as a South African dance. form of dance and, you know, it's been adapted not only in Namibia, but in other African countries as well. Um, what story do you tell with, you know, through the dance of Pantula? Um, like for me, I grew up in a musical home. 
my father and my uncles, they used to listen to that type of music. My brother, I have an br elder brother. So for me, um, what fascinated me about Pansula is the fashion. They have a very rich sense <laughs> of fashion. They do. And then at the same time, it can intimidate a lot of people mm -hmm. because people love the dance form, but not the culture of Pansula. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. when someone sees me with a spotty like this and with my one earring, the person will feel, no, this person is trying to attack me. But yeah, then for yeah. me, it's all about who I am. Mm -hmm. This is how I represent myself. Mm -hmm. I cannot look like another person because mm -hmm. I'm, I like to follow trends or whatever. I like mm -hmm. to look like, like myself because I'm just me yeah. and this is who I am. So it's not just a dance form, it's also a culture. You it's say. a culture itself yeah. also. You can be a pansola by just listening to the music of pansola. You can be a pansola just uh, um, speaking the language itself. You know, pansola has its elements also. Mm -hmm. There's a language, the dress code, and, um, and there's also the lifestyle. Yeah. Yeah. So there are elements in it also. Fantastic, I never knew that. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me what's next for Rhythm in Motion. I think you mentioned earlier that the group has evolved <laughs> once again. So, so for us, um, we, we, re we really didn't have enough uh, platforms to showcase our art. But then for us now, since we got awareness about uh, how we can do things and we are having now a new way of how we are looking at things, I believe we have to do more theatre work and m more plays into um, creating stories with our lives because for us, we can't dance in, um, in clubs or pubs or because you know people won't understand what we really mean yeah, yeah yeah so any new performances or projects that you you're working on um um lately I, i'm so tired but then <laughs> like I'm, I'm planning on something for next year mm -hmm. so yeah yeah end of year fatigue is a real thing we're all tired i yeah. promise you that you're not alone yeah lastly how has you know all i've changed your approach to 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 the art form of dance and you know has any fresh ideas or directions um, you know, come from it in, in an artistic way? Uh, um, ish. You know, for me, Olaf, ne? Olaf, they, 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 how can I say, they, they, they paved a way hmm. for create, us as creatives. You know, they, they, they really changed us because, like, for me, walking on the street today, like, young children today, they can look up to me and say, oh, this is the uncle that was doing the magic tricks. And there is, you know, I feel so, I feel so proud for, for myself mm -hmm. and for other dancers out there. I'm not saying I'm better than everyone, but then all of us, we are just doing the same thing. And yeah. our job as creatives is to entertain people and make people happy. Well, congratulations once again Thank on you your very win, much. and we wish you all the best with Rhythm in Motion. We look forward to seeing how you're going to, um, you know, evolve uh, yet again and, and redevelop and reinvent yourself in the future. Sure. So thank you so much for your time this evening, and thank you for being with us. Thank you. <laughs> that was uh, Talamo, who was the overall winner of this year's Ochumise Live Arts Festival, which is a dance competition. Um, him and the group Rhythm in Motion scooped top prize well that's all we have for you this evening here on the daily roundup we wrap up things uh, join us again tomorrow evening 6 p.m sharp here on nbc one from myself and the team it's good night and thank you for watching